This video will discuss what plagiarism is and how to avoid it. To plagiarize is to steal or pass off the ideas or words of another as your own. Plagiarism may occur in a number of ways. Using words or ideas from a source without giving credit, failing to put a quotation in quotation marks, giving incorrect information about the source of a quotation, changing words but copying the sentence structure of a source without giving credit, copying so many words or ideas from a source that it makes up the majority of your work, whether you give credit or not, and self-plagiarizing, such as using a paper you wrote for one class in a different class. You can see that plagiarism may be much more subtle than copying a friend's paper or copying directly from a source. Failing to properly cite sources can also be considered to be plagiarism. When you use citations, you provide the source of your information by giving credit to the original author. The reader of your paper should be able to see exactly where you found the information used for your assignment. Citing sources is required both when you directly quote a source and when you paraphrase a source. Direct quotations involve incorporating another person's exact words into your own writing. Using a source's exact words requires a pair of quotation marks around the direct quote to signal that these words are not your own. Paraphrasing or rewording involves putting a passage from a source into your own words. Paraphrasing and summarizing also require citations. Even though the information will be in your own words, you still need to cite the source of your information. If there is no citation for information or ideas that are not your own, it is considered plagiarism. The use of summaries, paraphrases, and quotations are often combined in writing. Don't overuse direct quotes. Be sure that you have a good reason to include a direct quotation when you decide to do so. Tips for effective paraphrasing include Rereading the original passage until you understand its full meaning. Writing your paraphrase without looking at the original. Writing a note on how you plan to use the paraphrase in your paper. Checking your paraphrase with the original to make sure that your version shows the information in a new form. Using quotation marks to identify any phrasing you borrowed exactly from the source and making a note of the source and a page number so you can credit it easily while writing your paper. Here are some more guidelines on the type of information that requires citations. Any words or ideas presented in a journal, magazine, book, newspaper, website, song, TV show, movie, computer program, letter, or advertisement. You also need to cite information you gain through interviewing or speaking with another person face-to-face, -face, over the phone, or in writing. When you use any diagrams, illustrations, charts, pictures, or other visuals. And when you reuse or repost any digital media, including images, audio, video, or social media. There are also certain things that do not require citations. These include writing your own lived experiences, your own observations and insights, your own thoughts, and your own conclusions about a subject, writing your own results obtained through lab or field experiments, using your own artwork, photos, audio, or video, using generally accepted facts, such as stating pollution is bad for the environment, and when you are using common knowledge, such as folklore, common sense observations, myths, and legends. If you're not sure if something is common knowledge or not, you should use a citation anyway, even if it turns out to be unnecessary. When you cite your sources, you will follow the guidelines of a particular citation style, such as MLA or APA citation style. Check your assignment details, the course syllabus, or ask your professor which citation style should be used. Typically, MLA format is used in the disciplines of humanities, such as English, literature, foreign languages, and cultural studies. APA format is typically used in the social sciences, including psychology, linguistics, sociology, economics, and criminology, as well as in business and nursing. It is your own responsibility not to plagiarize. Your professors might ask you to submit your work to a plagiarism checker, which automatically detects if any parts of your paper are plagiarized. However, instructors may also spot plagiarism just from reading a paper. It is easy to see missing citations for information that should be cited. 
Also, if you try to pass off someone else's work as your own, it is likely that the tone or style of the copied writing does not match your own. Citing sources and avoiding plagiarism might seem overwhelming, but it becomes easier with practice. Documenting the source of your information is not only required in college, but it is also good practice for future jobs.